G'day, it's Phil here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my $1 collection books here, the Aussie Big Things collectibles, and on this 10 coin folder, we are looking for one coin, the Big Swoop from Canberra in the ACT. We have all the other Aussie Big Things coins, so we're trying to finish that book off. And at the same time, we're trying to finish off the $1 collection book also only requiring one coin, the 2016 changeover coin, the 50th anniversary of decimal currency changeover. We have all the other commemorative coins up until the 2021 donation dollar, and there has been no circulating commemorative coins since then. But we'll put the books to the side and we'll grab out a roll. We've got $220 worth of uh, $1 coins in $20 rolls. From Armour Guard, and we're going to go through those and see if we can find that changeover. Today we're going to go through the coins, both front and back, obverse and reverse, looking for the coins, looking for coins of low mintage, looking for any error coins. We have our first commemorative coin in the second coin in the roll. This is the 1993 Landcare Australia coin. Sometimes on this coin we look out for die chips and uh, bits of errors on there. That one seems to be fine, so I'll put that up the top row. We'll call that the common commemoratives row. Uh, when we go through, we'll also be looking for errors in the name of rabbit ear cuds, where there's an extra bit of metal from a die chip up at the top of the kangaroo. It makes it look like a rabbit ear, a longer ear. And I'll also be looking out for low mintage coins, years of low mintage. Here is another common commemorative. It's the Centenary of Girl Guiding from 2010. Check that rotation arrow as we do with all of our commemorative coins. Put it on the top row because it's a common commemorative. And now we have the International Year of Peace from 1986, the very first commemorative $1 coin in circulation. The $1 coin only being issued in 1984, the year of that coin. Before that, and prior to that, it was a note, $1 note. We have another common commemorative, the 1999 International Year of Older Persons. Check that one for rotation error and we'll lay it down on the top. We've got another one directly after it. It's fine. And the year, the $1 year of low mintage that I look out for is nine, uh, 2014. That's a very low minted $1 mob of ruse. Here is the Dancing Man, the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II in 2005. Dancing Man also a highly minted commemorative. So I'll go up on the top row. It's another older persons. And then we've got a couple, what looks like, yep, a couple of mob of ruse, and then we will get on to the next roll. And so when I'm looking for years that are specifically uh, important is years 1987, 1989, 1990, 1991, 2007, and 2012. And the, year, the reason we look out for those is because the mob of ruse, this coin here, wasn't issued into circulation in those years. Uh, they were only put into sets. So if we find one of those years, it'd be very, very important, very nice to find. Here we have the centenary of women's suffrage from 2003. Also a highly minted commemorative. It'll go up on the top row. And then we'll continue looking for other low minted coins. There's a year of the outback from 2002, also highly minted, and we'll go up on the top row. In 2011, we have the Chogham coin. This is a Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in 2011 in Perth, Australia. So highly minted, and we'll go up on the top row. We're also looking for other commemorative coins. Uh, is that 1988? Australia's Bicentennial Celebration, the kangaroo on it, and that will go up on the top row. Oh. We're looking for the more recent commemoratives that have come out that are low mintage. Not the mob of Bruce. Here we have the APEC Australia from 2007. It's a highly minted uh, commemorative coin, and you would note that I would saying that we're looking out for the 2007 mob of ruse the 2007 mob of ruse was only issued in a pnc for collectors so if you find them in circulation it's quite a find and hopefully find some of those other commemoratives there's another year of the outback such as the 
Aussie big things collectibles or the Great Aussie Coin Hunt or the uh, Dollar Discovery series is another series that we sometimes pick out some 100 years of Anzac the spirit lives this is from 2014 the series ran from 2014 to 2018 inclusively 2014 was very highly minted uh, and the 2015 to 18 were much lower minted and we do keep those for the wider collection if we do find them in circulation so now we are on to the third row roll once we've done with the third roll we will speed the hunt up a little bit we'll just get on to the uh, speeding up a little bit when we finish the roll because now we've got a keeper for today we have a dollar discovery coin you'll see above the a down here there's a square preview mark with the letter s in it it's a s the series was a u and s or oz and the, you know, in amongst the mob of in there is a little 35 because it was the 35th anniversary of the one dollar coin in 2019 that is a lower minted uh, commemorative or preview mark coin and that will definitely go into the wider collection so we'll go down there the bottom row we'll call that the uh the keepers row another apex australia and another oh memory if you haven't seen today the centenary of scouting from 2008 makes a bit of a mini set with the centenary of girl guiding and it seems to slot there underneath it so yeah, we continue on looking for those coins, low mintage, and that could be worth more than face value. Another centenary of scouting. There we see uh, for the first time today, the newest effigy on Australia's coins, King Charles III, it's a 2023 mob of ruse. I'm currently keeping the majority of those that are in good nick uh, because we don't know how many there's going to be there might be low minted it might be high minted so we will i will keep them until we figure out what the mintage for that coin is and i see something here on this coin we do have a rabbit ears rabbit ear card this is 2008 there as you see on that first kangaroo at the top there bit of extra metal up there as a die chip makes it look like a bit of like a bit of a rabbit so we have a rabbit ears a rabbit ear card there on that last coin there of that roll and what we'll do now is we will speed up the hunt and i'll only stop if there's anything of any note or any uh, commemorative coin that we haven't spoken about yet i'll annotate it and then lay it down so let's get on with it there for the first time we see the centenary federation from 2001 we always check this coin for a rotation error these coins 2001 centenary federation seems to have quite a few rotated coins today we don't have one of those there for the first time we see sir charles kingsford smith from 1997 celebrating one of australia's aviation pioneers uh, also highly minted will go up on the top row And there for the first time today we see the father of federation sir henry parks from 1996 uh, also a common commemorative it'll go up on the top row 
there we have a memorial effigy it's the 2023 year with the memorial effigy legend uh, the one dollar there denomination on the obverse and we'll check what that one is and it's one of the aflw premiership season cups from 2023 uh, the women's afl league australian football league uh, it's a lower minted coin so we'll put that down with the keepers so we'll put that into the wider collection and here we have the international year of volunteers also from 2001 highly minted not in the set so it's actually quite hard to get really good copies of those And then we have another, what looks to be a rabbit ear card. Maybe on that. Yep, there's a uh, quite a large blob of metal up there behind the kangaroo's head. That is from 1998. So we have two years now of rabbit ears. And then we have another of the Dollar Discovery series. We have the preview mark U there. So we've got U and an S now. That down over there with the other Dollar Discovery coin. There we have the AFL Premiership Season Cup, the uh, the men's league. So we have the AFL and the AFLW. Both of those came out in 2023 in a set with uh, all of the clubs, the AFL clubs logos on a uh, in, in a tube, uh, and all of the club coins were not intended for circulation, and uh, the trophy coins were put into circulation through Australia Post. We have another 2023 one, and this one is this time for the Matildas, the Australian women's national football team. It's the goalie uh, that was issued for the FIFA World Cup held in Australia and New Zealand in 2023. There was also coloured $2 coins that were issued into circulation in the same fashion.
have another memorial effigy. This is another one of the Matildas coins. There was four in the set. This is the header. We now have two of the four in the set. And that then brings us on to the last roll of the hunt. Have a few keepers for the wider collection. Not the two coins that I'm looking for, the big sweep or the changeover coin. Although we ha we have still one roll to go, so we could have a bit of last roll luck and uh, pull one of those two sought after coins out of circulation. But we'll continue on. There's a few commemoratives to get through. The Dancing man. 2005-2010 writing, the only the second one that we've got, the first and the last roll. Again, first and last roll. But otherwise, I think uh, two rabbit ear cuts, when I haven't had one for a while, and now that many around, probably a decent uh, outcome for this hunt. 2014, but it's a Years of Anzac, not the low minted mob of ruse. But that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's have a look through. I've gone through all the coins now, years and uh, for errors and, and so forth. What we picked up today was a couple of Matildas, the header, uh, the goalie from the 2023 with the Memorial Effigy. We picked up a couple of other 2023 coins, two of the AFLW Premiership Season Cups, uh, one of the AFL Premiership Season Cups. So the, both of those. In the series that were issued picked up uh, three uh, king charles iii effigy a mob of ruse which we're going to hold on to until we know the mintage we picked up we picked up two of the dollar discovery series the u and the s out of the three possible a u and s's so that's not too bad they're low minted coins and these ones aren't in too bad a condition either so they'll go into the wider collection but then two very very nice coins that will go into my wider collection for errors is two rabbit ear cards one from 2008 and the other from 1998 so 10 years apart rabbit ear cards I'll put that down i'll actually quickly look at my card that tells me which whether or not i have those years in my year progression and i do have 98 and 2008 so they'll go in with the others into the wider collection so error coins and i'm doing a, a year run and a progression run from the smallest rabbit ear cards to the largest put them in order very very nice i did pull out one year 2000 coin the year 2000 is where the mob of ruse had a mule uh, error where the 10 set obverse was used instead of the one dollar and we have a double ringed obverse mule uh, but i'm putting them aside at the moment just to show how many i might get in a month to have the opportunity to look for the mules but that's pretty much it for today if you like what i do please think about subscribing to the channel uh, leave a comment down below if you're finding any rabbit ear cuds lately in your hunts if you do indeed noodle i'd love to hear what you're finding around the traps uh, but otherwise i'll be back for more noodling in a couple of days so i'll see you then bye